get myself a seat, plop myself down, and answer some questions. What is my favourite tree to climb? I enjoy reducing silver birch trees. You don't even necessarily need to use a chainsaw if the tree is not too big. You can reduce the whole thing with a handsaw, not make loads of noise. Um, and yeah, they're not too difficult to climb. And they're my favourite tree. So yes, I really enjoy climbing silver birch. What weather conditions would prevent us from climbing? Nothing, apart from thunderstorms or ridiculous winds. It really depends on the situation. Wind and power lines is a really bad mix because your ropes can get blown towards power lines. You know, being high up in a thunderstorm doesn't seem very clever. Abby also asked my, what my favourite weather conditions to climb in. And I said to her, overcast and 10 degrees. Not too hot, not too cold. What are my least favourite conditions will be cold, wet and windy. Hands will be frozen. You won't be able to operate your carabiners and it'll give you that horrible cold tunnel vision where you can't see or think and you're just stuck up this tree shivering. What kind of tree is harder to climb? Go with a monkey puzzle, anything with lots of creepers going up it or lots of spikes and thorns. Those are normally not much fun. Yeah, creepers are annoying. How do you become a tree surgeon? Just do your individual tickets rather than doing a course. Do your chainsaw maintenance and cross cutting and your felling ticket and that will make you a lot more useful. Invest in some PPE, get some trousers and boots and a hat. Get your climbing and aerial rescue ticket. As soon as you've got that, you can then do your chainsaw from a rope and harness. When I did it, it was your CS30 and 31, CS38 and CS39. Adding to your driving licence is handy with towing and HGV. If they've got a big chipper that's over 750 and you're the only other guy apart from the boss who can tow it, that's very good for you. Um, so yeah. Um, have I ever been genuinely concerned about a tree I've been climbing? And yes. Cutting a top out and it hangs up and it's supported at the tip end. Um, and then if you cut through the back, as the butt falls, it'll push the tip end quite often towards the climber. That's just a general situation you want to be very aware of. Um, and if you find yourself in that situation, um, think before you act. There's a safest way to face any situation. My, my job is just to find it. 